We have inherited a terrible mess, but the Senate has taken a major step forward to turn the country around <clears throat> by passing the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. By standing with President Obama, we stand up for America to create jobs for people who've lost them and to help those who have them keep them. This bill is about jobs, jobs, jobs. Through the rough and tumble of the legislative process, I do believe the Senate has found a sensible center, and I compliment all on both sides of the aisle who chose to work with each other to accomplish this. This bill balances spending on the public investments and targeted tax credits that create jobs without exacerbating the federal deficit. Madam President, there is much to commend us about the spending bill. The focus on physical, physical infrastructure is absolutely crucial to my own state of Maryland. If one takes something that is not very jazzy to talk about, like sewers and water grants, I can only bring to the Senate's attention that this stimulus would bring $123 million to Maryland for these projects. But if Governor O'Malley were here, what he'd say, thank God, if the people of Montgomery County, Prince George's, and Baltimore City would say, cheers. Over the weekend, we had a terrible water main break in Maryland and in Baltimore. It went through Madison Street, near one of our most famous Catholic churches. There, that church runs a school by the Jesuits that focuses on giving a Jesuit prep school education, practically free to poor boys, helping them find their way. It's closed, not because of the lack of funds, but because of a water break. Iggy's, one of our most delicious pizza parlors, flooded with water, not with business, because of the water main break. Most recently, a big water main break in River, Re, River Road in Montgomery County. A dashing rescue by the brave people, first responders of the Montgomery County rescue team. Snatching people from water as it cascaded through like it was a Maryland Niagara Falls. We have the money and the will to have paid for the daring rescue, but we want to fix essentially what was a tsunami a local tsunami in Montgomery County. And every time we do this, you have to have jobs for the people who will actually build the water and sewer programs. I could take you on a tour throughout Maryland, but what we're doing is creating jobs, improving the environment, and public safety and public health. I could go item after item on these spending issues. Education would be one of the others very important. But I'm going to ask unanimous consent that my full statement be in the record. Because in addition to what was done the other night, and what will pass in this stimulus, and I intend to vote for this stimulus, is that I'm so heartened that my automobile amendment is included in this bill. It makes interest payments on car loans and state sales tax deductible for new cars that would be purchased this year. What does it do? It actually gets people in the showroom. It does what Senator, um, Senator Hutchinson talked about. I got 71 votes, 40 Democrats and th uh, th uh, 41 Democrats and 30 Republicans. And what does it do? It saves jobs because it gets people in the showroom to buy a car. It means for the people who sell the car, for the auto mechanic who fixes it, and for the uh, manufacturer who makes it. And most of all, for the consumer, they get a chance to buy a car that will be far more fuel efficient and also lower carbon. Now, that's what both sides of the aisle have talked about. I have a statement from someone I never thought I'd be in alignment with, the economist Martin Feldstein. He's on the conservative side, and everybody knows you kind of color me blue. Uh, and he says what we should focus on is providing incentives to households and businesses to increase current spending. Why not a tax credit to households to purchase cars or other consumer durables? 
Now, Senator I think- Senator has used five minutes. My time has expired. I'd ask for just two minutes to conclude. All I say is this. Thanks, I'm gonna thank the chair for allowing me to offer the amendment, but if you want a car in your house, call the White House or call the, the House of Representatives. The problem now is not the idea, but it is the politics. Let's get the White House on our side. Let's get the House of Representatives on this side. Flood, not the streets, but flood them with the phone calls. Call these numbers. Let's get America rolling again, and I yield the floor.